Hello students, welcome to Physics. My name is Rashid Ulberi. I'm a doctoral candidate at Columbia University and physics teacher at Brooklyn Tech. I teach physics because there is nothing more exciting than physics. I say it because everything, everything around us, steam engine, light bulb, cell phone, the phone I'm using to record this video, everything, even the GPS in the car, even the solar panel on this rooftop is byproduct of physics. In fact, there would be no technological advancement if you remove physics. There would be no sciences if you remove physics. This is why I often say physics is the father of all technologies and all sciences. In fact, mankind, mankind witness only three big leaps due to three physicists, Sir Isaac Newton, Michael Faraday, and Albert Einstein. Sir Isaac Newton, 1665, inspired by an apple fall created calculus. He used, he used calculus to write an equation f equal ma that paved the way, paved the way for industrial revolution in England because James Watt, James Watt used that equation to invent a steam engine. Tiny Island England overnight became economic power, economic power in Europe. And then years later, we saw second big leap in science due to, again, physics. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday's tiny equation, induced voltage is equal to negative N, magnetic field over T, paved the way for electric revolution. Again, this tiny, tiny, tiny island, England, ended up become superpower. Have you ever imagined how Britannia ruled the world? because of Michael Faraday and how Michael Faraday created this electric revolution because of Sir Isaac Newton because Michael Faraday got inspiration from Orsted. Orsted got yeah, inspiration from um, from so many other people and Pierre and Ohms and Gauss and they got inspiration from Coulomb Coulomb got inspiration from Cavendish. Cavendish got inspiration from Isaac Newton. So everything you can trace back to Sir Isaac Newton. That means indirectly Michael Faraday's work is inspired by Sir Isaac Newton. F equal MA. All right, then next big leap. Mankind saw next big leap because another physicist. This time, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. So what did Albert Einstein do? He wrote an equation. He put a bunch of equations together, 10 of them, and he got a field equation. Arminio minus half R Gminio plus cosmological constant. Gminio is equal to 8 pi. Newton constant of a series to 4 T minio. These equations, these equations paved the way for technological advancement, including GPS, solar panel on the rooftop, satellites, all the modern technology, all the modern technology byproduct of Albert Einstein's field equation. And of course, it allows us to predict black hole. Isn't it awesome? And guess what? Albert Einstein equation, field equation, is, uh, is directly connected to Sir Isaac Newton F equal MA because Sir Isaac Newton F equal MA is uh, is, 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 is another version of Sir Isaac Newton gravitational um, universal law of gravity, which is F, G, M1, M2 over R squared. And Einstein field equation is nothing but G, M1, M2 over R squared. That's why you see Newton constant in Einstein field equation. So everything you can trace back to Sir Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton. So by this time next year, you should be able to do a big thing. You should be able to. This is why sometimes this is why sometimes I say if alien comes to the earth and destroy everything except F equal MA, we human can rebuild everything. Everything using F equal MA is that powerful. This is why I I thank to every day I wake I, every day I wake up in the morning. I thank to Sir Isaac Newton. I look at him. I look at him and I thank him. I thank him. My inspiration comes from this guy, all right, this guy. I'm looking for a pocket version of Sir Isaac Newton's statue so I can keep, keep him in the pocket. 
a great source of inspiration. So this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna plant a dream in your mind that you too can become the next Sir Isaac Newton. All right, who among you next Isaac Newton? Everyone. How about everyone? To make that happen, I'll do everything humanly possible. I'll create 180 website for 180 days. All right. In fact, this is the first video for fast website. My uh, my 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 website will contain uh, five things: flip classroom, do now, big idea, escape room, which I call exit slip, escape room, and the homework. The flip classroom gonna give you idea what am I gonna cover in the class. Is gonna give is gonna heads up. Is gonna give you a heads up at least uh, 24 hours ahead of time, so you would exactly know what. You're gonna be doing in the class so you can prepare yourself see and then the do now do now I'm gonna uh, give you um, a challenge a new topic all right and then the big idea the big idea you will get you will you will get an opportunity to discover something all right so 180 class 180 website 180 discovery 180 questions because every discovery started with questions Sir Isaac Newton asked if Apple fall does the moon also fall that ended up ended up ended up paved the way for him to write F equal M so if you don't ask question you don't discover so make sure you write one question at least one question so there would be by end of by this time next year you're gonna have 180 discovery because you ask yourself 180 questions okay and then escape room escape room you're gonna be given three questions all right three questions you I will challenge you I'll give you three questions directly come from the flip classroom do now and big idea and you would be uh, solving and 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 putting the answer key to the door and if you put the correct key to the door the door will be open if you put the wrong answer to the door then you will see some some unpleasant characters there would be one winner because the group that raised hand uh, faster would be welcome would be invited to the smart board to enter the key to escape from the escape room and whoever uh, and that group if that group uh, uh, be able to open the door using the key then that group would be announced as the winner and everyone else would be standing up congratulating the winner because here in america what we do we all try to become next sir isaac newton even if we end up don't become an uh, isaac newton we are so generous we are so good uh, we stand up we congratulate the winner that's why we are great and then uh, homework homework would be able to use your prior knowledge that you learn from day one for example to solve similar questions this is how i'm going to help you of course i'm going to give you a different way of uh, learning the materials because i know there are seven different types of learners uh, visual learners gonna be watching this video for example to learn auditory learners gonna be listening the podcast to learn the linguistic would be there would be text on the website they're going to be reading it to learn the kinesthetic of course gonna be printing out and walk and read those uh, texts gonna be learning that way intrapersonal and interpersonal can i'm gonna pair you off this is why i'm gonna be have a group uh, the uh, and group and individual this is how interpersonal and intrapersonal learners gonna be learning from the website so the website is because one size does not fit all website gonna serve all sizes all different learning style will be benefited by this website and finally the homework homework will allow you to use your problems to solve the problem okay. subscribe to bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming